9 Star Wars ripoffs movies that we think are actually good. Number 9 Saturn 3, 1980. Two lovers stationed at a remote base in the asteroid fields of Saturn are intruded upon by a retentive technocrat from Earth and his charge, a malevolent 8 foot robot. Remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Number 8 Hawk the Slayer, 1980 Hawk, having suffered the ignominy of watching both his father and fiancé die at the hands of his brother, Volton, sets out on a quest for companions to aid him in his fight to stop his brother's reign of evil and free the abbess. Number 7 Masters of the Universe 1987 On the planet Eternia, Skeletor and his dark army overthrow the sorceress of Castle Grayskull, expecting to acquire her power. E-Man, his old friend Duncan, Man-at-Arms, and his daughter, Tila, are attacked by Skeletor's soldiers, and they defeat them. They also rescue their prisoner, the inventor, and locksmith Gwilder. He explains that he was lured by evil Lin, that used his invention the Cosmic Key, to open the gates and seize the castle Grayskull. E-Man, and his friends, retrieve, the prototype of the Cosmic Key, trying to release the Sorceress, but they are defeated by Skeletor, and his army, and Gwilder uses his key to open and portal for them to flee. They come to Earth, but lose the key. Meanwhile, Julie Winston, who grieves the loss of her parents, in a plane crash, and her boyfriend Kevin Corrigan, find and activate the key, believing it is a foreign musical instrument. On Eternia, Evil Lynn, locates the cosmic key, and Skeletor, sends her with a group of mercenaries, and soldiers to vanquish, E-Man, and his friends, and bring the key back. Will they succeed? Number 6 Space Hunter, Adventures in the Forbidden Zone 1983 Three women make an emergency landing, on a planet, plagued with a fatal disease, but are captured by, Dictator over a dog. Adventurer, Wolf goes there to rescue them, and meets Nikki, the only Earthling, left from a medical expedition. Combining their talents, they try to rescue the women. Number 5 Battle Beyond the Stars 1980 Shad, a young farmer, assembles a band of diverse mercenaries in outer space to defend his peaceful planet from the evil tyrant Sador and his armada of aggressors. Among the mercenaries are Space Cowboy, a space-going truck driver from Earth, Jelt, a wealthy but experienced assassin looking for a place to hide, and Saint Exman, a Valkyrie warrior looking to prove herself in battle. Number 4 The Black Hole 1979 An Earth exploratory ship, the USS Palomino, discovers a black hole, with a lost ship, the USS Cygnus, just outside its event horizon. Deciding to solve the mystery of the Cygnus R, the Palomino's captain, Dan Holland, his first officer, Lieutenant Charlie Pizer, journalist, Harry Booth, scientist and DSP sensitive, Dr. Kate McRae, whose father was the Cygnus's first officer, Dr. Alex Durant, the expedition's civilian leader, and the robot known as Van Sant. The Palomino attempts a dangerous flyby of the darkened ship. As they come within close range of it, the buffeting they experience, due to the black hole's gravity, suddenly ceases. They bring more instruments to bear on the derelict, but do not even realize, the gravity-free zone is artificial, slipping outside it, they are almost drawn into the black hole, an abyss from which, no one can escape. Matters worsen when Reinhardt, holds the crew captive, after realizing, that they can help him reach his goal. The squad must now figure out a way to flee from Reinhardt 
before it's too late. Number 3. Krull. 1983. In the face of total annihilation, by the omnipotent beast's unstoppable hordes of slayers, the young aristocrats of two, hostile neighboring nations the brave Prince Colwyn, and the fair Princess Lissa are about to come into union, and form an alliance, against the common enemy. However, the otherworldly adversary, is all-powerful, and before long, a fateful abduction, will trigger a desperate quest, to the evil entity's grim black fortress, as Colwyn, and a handful of mismatched defenders, are willing to dice with death, to ensure the land's future. In this suicide mission, the magical, five-edged weapon, known as the Glaive, is their only chance of survival. Can Prince Colwyn, slay the beast, save Lessa, and Krull, the small planet in the middle of the vast galaxy? Number 2. The Last Starfighter. 1984. Alex Rogan, lives in a remote trailer court, where his mother is manager, and everyone is like, a massive extended family. He defeats Starfighter, a stand-up, arcade game, to the applause of everyone, in the court and later, finds out he has been turned down for a student loan for college. Depressed, he meets Centauri, who introduces himself, as a person from the company that made the game, before Alex really knows, what is going on. He is on the ride of his life in a sports car flying through space. Chosen to take the skills, he showed on the video game, into real combat to protect the galaxy from an invasion. Alex gets as far as the Starfighter base, before he really realized, that he was conscripted, and requests to be taken back home. When he gets back home, he finds a Zando, Zan, alien bounty hunter, is stalking him. Unable to go home and live, Alex returns to the Starfighter base, to find all the pilots have been killed, and he is the galaxy's only chance to be saved from invasion. To defeat the invaders, who are paying the bounty on him, he must be victorious. Number 1. Battlestar Galactica. 1978. After 1000 years of war, the humans, from the 12 colonies, are near to celebrate an armistice, with the evil Cylon Empire. Out of the blue, the Cylons, betray the pact, and destroy, the colonies, and their entire fleet, except the Battlestar Galactica. Commander Adama, summons the few survivors, from all the colonies, to follow him, on a journey to find the mythical planet, Earth. However, they are short of water, supplies and fuel, and they head to the planet Carillon, to replenish the fleet, and get the supplies. Adama's son, the warrior Captain Apollo, and his partners, Lieutenants Starbuck, and Boomer destroy the mines, left by the Cylons. And they reach the planet. They are welcomed by the inhabitants, and find the paradise. Meanwhile, the self-serving human leader, Sire Yuri, wants to destroy their arms, and live in the Cylon Empire. Despite the contempt of Adama, Sire Yuri, decides to give medals, to Apollo, Starbuck and Boomer, for their bravery on Garillon, and invites the warriors, to come to the party. However, Adama believes, that it is a trap, for the Galactica. What can he do?